announce at the earliest time that one of the member of the directors of state will speak to us uh, via this platform today um, in the capacity of the European rep. I will bring him in right now. He will greet the beer France. Then um, we'll have one or two questions and the interaction with him. Maze, can you hear me? You introduce yourself properly to beer France all over the world. Uh, yes, Mazi, imagine it. There we go. Um, uh, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, dear friends, all over the world, from wherever you're listening to us from. Uh, my name is uh, Mazi Austin Abanyim. I come from Amike. Amike is in Olu province of Biafra land, and by the grace of Chukwe Kadia Mahilohim. Um, I serve the indigenous people of Biafra in the capacity of a European representative and member of the Directorate of State. Um, I have come again this morning because I found it very, very necessary to come and talk to Biafrans again because this struggle has lasted longer than we all expected simply because of the obstacles we are meeting on our way and trying to resolve them and forge ahead. Uh, our success, success so far in this struggle has been the, our tenacity, our consistency in our ideology and philosophy in the Better Restoration Project, because we have a leader that is capable, who we all agree that he was the one that Chico Kadama has called to lead us into the new and independent Biafra nation, Mazin Namdekano. It was for his sake that we all came and joined IPOB. And our success so far has been our collaboration, IPOB leadership, and the people of Biafra all over the world, especially those residents in Biafra land. We have come a long way. And we we'll continue to collaborate in future actions, even as we edge closer to the restoration of the Afra, not minding the fact that they have kidnapped our leader and the extraordinary admission went back to Nigeria, which is against all international laws and treaties. But we are here to tell the Afrans that we are not backing down. Whatever happens in this struggle, will always come to be a blessing to us. We have formidable enemies in Biafra land, the so-called politicians and intellectuals who have vowed to spell our land, betray our people for their own selfish interests and gain. But to go gather and have it, that we have formidable people who are standing shoulder to shoulder with our leader Martin Namdekano who believe that the freedom of the Afrans is going to give the highest priority in our lives. That's why we are doing what we are doing. We also will not forget the millions of the Afrans who have been killed and who pay the ultimate price for the sake of freedom. We are remembering them. And that gives us more power, more hope and energy to continue in the agitation for freedom. We are not going to abandon them. Their sacrifices will never be in vain. Therefore, we are calling on all their friends all over the world, especially those resident in the Afro land, to remain resolute, consistent, and vigilant, because we have enemies, formidable enemies, even among, amongst us. So we also want to use this opportunity as a member of the Directorate of State to thank the friends in the Afro land for observing the sit at home on Thursday when the impostor was brought to the Afro land by the Supreme Court Administrator in Imo State. We want to thank you all for having listened to uh, Radio Biafra and followed the directives given by the Director of State. As you all know, when that particular order was given for a seat at home on Thursday, the enemies again woke up to come and cancel it and say that it has been annulled, it has been suspended. This is to tell you the level of war that we are fighting, both physically and otherwise. The battle for the other resolution is the highest battle you can ever imagine. Our leader said it many times. 
that the most difficult job on earth is to restore the aircraft. It becomes difficult because of the in-house enemies we have, the so-called governors who have showed their consciences to the devil and have vowed that our, the blood of our people will continue to be offered on the altar of one Nigeria. And we have risen up to say, no, we are not going to die anymore. We need our freedom. Biafra is more than 70 million people in Europe where there are countries that are below 1 million and they have their own independence and freedom. Why should we not have our freedom? We have a country like uh, Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein is uh, not, at, not even up to 100,000 people. They are using Swiss currency. They are using everything in Switzerland. But they are, all, they are, they are independent. We have San Marino, we have Luxembourg, we have Monaco. All of these countries are below 1 million population. The other ones are over 170 million people, and we are still being trapped in the contraption called Nigeria. I, I, I want to advise, I want to I tell our people, especially the others in the other land, that the problems that are, we are facing today are the people that are inside the house. Inside the house, because the young are full and in food soldiers can never come to our vehicle land to kill anybody, to affect anybody without having Jeju appointing fingers. So it is incumbent upon every one of us to identify these traitors and make them known to the Eastern Security Network so that they may be sent to Chukwuka Adama for judgment. We have to really sit up because times are difficult. The Nigerian government has started to, you know, bring arms and ammunition into the Afghanistan. And I think it's very, very necessary we ask, we ask ourselves the question, why are they doing this? They will come to bring confusion among you. While you fight against one another, they are, they are planning how to attack you and take over your land. Remember what happened to Afghanistan recently. It was the terrorists that they is conscripted into the military in Afghanistan were the ones who overthrew the government of Afghanistan. This is what the Sioux is planning. They have been continuously recruiting and conscripting the Boko Haram terrorists into the Nigerian military and police. And until the number of them are higher than the number of the real soldiers and police, they will attack and take over Nigeria. So we all need to be vigilant. We all need to sit up and do the need so, knowing fully well that their plans have been re re revealed to us. Because from the virtue of our position in the Directorate of State, we are privy some, to some classified information and when we got them, we are going to make them known to you. And it shall do well to heed to every instruction coming from the Directorate of State, even in the absence of our leader. The Directorate of State remains the only body that is working for the liberation of the land of Biafra from the contraption and from the servitude uh, imposed on us by the Fulani oligarchy, uh, aided by the cynical political political uh, job as we have in the Afghan land. So uh, thank you so much, dear friends, once again for working in collaboration with the Directorate of State, not minding what the enemies are doing. Together we shall achieve the Afra. Together we shall ensure that Nazim Nam Bikan, our supreme leader, will regain his freedom and join us very soon. So we pray that Chukwe Kabiam will continue to guide him wherever he is. Protect him because he has made him uh, his refuge and fortress. We have worshipped God in secret and in the open. He has made it known to the world that Chukwokadama is the only one who is going to give us freedom and not mine. And for that sake, we know that Chukwokadama will never lay him before his mighty name because he promised not to despise anyone that comes to him first. So therefore, Nam Dikano shall be the one to lead us into the new and independent Biafra nation. Where we shall sing and dance to, to Chukwe Kabama, songs of joy and praise, 
and where his name shall be notarized in the land of Biafra. As long as we continue to exist as free people and free nation, we shall dedicate Biafra to Chukwu Kiyadama. And so shall he be now and forevermore. He said, he said, he said, thank you, Mazi. I'm standing by for any question. I remember Mazi also in Abayim, the European Red, and the member of the Red Church of State. They were not to me. Thank you very much, uh, Mazi uh, Abayim, for that a wonderful rendition. And um, the kudos you have given to Bia friends uh, uh, back home and um, how things went yesterday, uh, how things went yesterday. Uh, we saw a very huge success that came out of it despite the money we had uh, that um, uh, the administrator in Imo State pumped to the people to see how they can counter the thing still our people uh, at a certain number uh, respected the law understand what is going on uh, that is a very a good one um, but despite that, you know that in every 12 there must be Judas. There are some certain people who try somehow uh, to be funny in what we are doing. I don't know if you have anything to say on that aspect. Not all, just few percent of them uh, who try to be funny. Maybe as a result of all this 1,000, 5,000 naira, the politicians normally used to wash their brain. I don't know if you have anything to say on that. Yes, Marzi, um, that is uh, the problem that we have uh, detected in our agitation for freedom. The Fulani Ganga with uh, Maradi terrorists have a strategy. Because our leader said we are always seven steps out ahead of them. Whatever they are planning, we know it already. And we do well to always inform our people. And if they keep listening, and adhering to all the information that the DOS will be passing to them, uh, the sooner we are going to be free. This is their tactic. They have, you know, this pseudo system of uh, impoverishing the people and then giving them uh, scrubs. You know, just like one uh, example of taking a chicken, plotting all the all the feathers away from the chicken, the chicken will be very, very weak and sad and pain, you know, in pain. But then the same person, when you start throwing corn to that chicken, the chicken will be running after you, forgetting what you have done to that chicken. That's what they are doing with our people. The first of all, impoverish them. They are in mind that when you finish your education, you don't find a job. And what do you do? You are scrambling for anything to make your ends meet. You are scrambling, become a scavenger, so to say. And that is why they are getting those valuable ones who have nothing to do than to look for wherever they can have one naira, uh, two naira to make their day. Uh, this is the problem. Uh, but we are promising the Afghans that you shouldn't let the issue of your stomach take over the issue of your freedom. Because freedom is priceless. Hunger can be quenched, but freedom, there is no alternative to freedom. So if the offer will be referred today, anybody who is unemployed will be placed on mentally salary. We have enough resources to do that. So nobody should run after this 1,000 or 5,000 naira they are giving to you and be training your, your own people, your own future, and your own generation to come. Sometimes they don't realize what they are doing because they are hungry. You know, our leader said once in the broker that when you are hungry, you are seeing you are seeing what is not there, kind of hallucinating. They don't know what they are doing. But they are falling into the trap of this gullible uh, and this and this uh, cynical and wicked, blood sucking politicians who are using them as toys to 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 you know to achieve their own political ends. And it, our people should be wise enough to receive whatever they are giving to you. One example, again, is that whenever they are come for election, you see them sharing two money, sharing uh, food stamps to people, just to make them good for them, and after that, that will be the end. So that's why we are saying that no election should be held, because this is where that our problem lies. You're getting people in who are coming here to prosecute you, who are coming here to, you know, to, to, to take what belongs to you, giving it to their own family and friends, and leaving you in abject poverty, 
This is the system of the Jangawit, and that's what our governors and politicians have learned, and they are now implementing it on our own people, which is, which is very, very alien to our culture. And uh, we, we, the solution to all this problem is the resolution of the Afra, and that's what we are doing, no going back, Mazi. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mazi. Mazi, you are from uh, Imo State. Um, let's look into the state now, the state affair. What do you think is the reason why this administrator insisted in bringing this uh, impostor in Imo State, despite the situation as if there is a project, maybe there may be, that he really constructs as they claimed? Uh, I don't know, but if there is, I would like you to let people know. But apart from that, what game do you think? That this impostor, that uh, this administrator is trying to play by all these things uh, he's doing, by insisting in bringing this uh, impostor to Imo State, despite the situation we are into. Yes, ma'am. You, you, you know that uh, first of all, uh, I need to reiterate that this particular um, Supreme Court administrator is not the person we voted for. He was handpicked and brought just to that position after he has agreed to become subservient to those who have called him to, to leave in the state. He was handpicked by them and he is now doing the bidding of those who have put him in power. So we are not surprised that he will be inviting uh, the impostor in, in our land uh, to, you know, the governors in, we have in our land they are also fitting to please the government of the uh, leader key who put them in power. And none of them was really voted by our people because you, you cast your vote and they will put the person who agreed to do their bidding. So what he's doing in essence is to uh, tell us that he, he is uh, he's in charge of human space because he has seen that the people, the people own the land and whenever we call for sit at home, our people will sit at home. Uh, he's using credibility, and we want to show the impostor and the, the, the what you call the president, because there's no president in Nigeria at the moment. We, you call them the president, that's the group of cabals that are uh, sharing the national cake and uh, doing whatever they like with the Nigeria, because Nigeria has already collapsed as a, as a state. So what we're doing in essence is to, uh, you know, to show other governors that I am the one that is doing mostly uh, better than all of you by betraying my people and killing my people. He has given him a state to the felony. And IPOD have stood up to say, no, you can't do that. Without IPOD by now, I think uh, we, we wouldn't have been saying what we are saying now because their aim is to sell our people, sell our land, give it to the felony for their own selfish interests. Um, he is now trying to please to show us that he's in charge of the state, inviting uh, the imposter to show that he is doing one or two things in the country or in the state, which uh, we saw the videos where they were painting, uh, you know, words black to show that uh, he, he just worked on them, but he didn't do any job. So statistically, the state is, is one than uh, before he took over. It was off now before that, that particular uh, administrator took over in the state. There is nothing to write home about in his administration. It is there, clear, it's very clear for everyone to see. In the state is, is retrogressing since uh, his government took over. And there is nothing to write home about in saying that he has finished one or two projects. Workers are not paid, stationers are not paid. School system is, 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 in, is, in, is in this array. Uh, we don't have electricity, you don't have water, you don't have good roads. Then what else are you doing there? Due to investing money and money abroad uh, on different names and different accounts, that's what they are doing. So the solution there is to ask our people that in this time we have had to get rid of all these uh, all this, all this so called uh, you know, elites and governors or politicians who have been the turn in the scheme of our people, who have nothing good in mind for our people than their own political interests. So I don't see anything good about inviting the interest of our human states, but only for the interest of the, uh, the Supreme Court administrator himself to, to push his political career 
because they all they all competing who is going to uh, be the uh, maybe vice president for 2023. He's beginning his campaign with inviting Buhari into the state. That's what we can uh, tell you at the moment, Mazi. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mazi. Um, I still have this question to ask you regarding the 14th of uh, September, which is another seat at home. Um, can you elaborate a bit on it to be a friends, the reason and the importance of this particular uh, 14th of uh, September seat at home uh, being um, uh, said by the Directorate of State? Yes, Mazi. Um, as you all know, 14th of September, we have called it the, the Saboteur State. This is the day we remember the Saboteur, how they betrayed Imam Dukan, how they betrayed the Afra. Because a lot of our people were killed during the uh, invasion of the military, police, and navy, and all the other security forces into the house of our leader, Mazinam Dekano, in a very full event in A lot of the other friends fought to defend our leader. At least 28 of them were more down in cold blood in that particular uh, incident. And other people, even on their way to a family who were stopped, molested, killed, some were dumped in zero pits in our back and for that court road. And this is why we said this particular day is important that we remember uh, those who were killed on that day. And then also to uh, arouse the, our people's conscience as to the day that we are taking, uh, having all the sacrifices still working still in their fellow. Like I said uh, earlier, earlier on, with this time we are going to start uh, getting rid of all these applicants, beginning with the politicians, beginning with those whom we are sure that they are our problems. At least every day from now you can see that IPOB is there to restore the effort, to bring better life to our people, to, to, to improve the life quality of our people, to give them what they have been missing. Every amenities we have in here in Western world, we want to bring it to the Afrala because our people are capable. They are capable. They can, they can, uh, you know, they can become the Japan of Africa within two years of, it, uh, of, of freedom and independence. This is what we are fighting for. But why are those political jobbers are also fighting against us? They have the money, they have the influence, and they can always drive their way through. That's why the Biafraization projects have lived that so long. But we are hopeful and we are remaining resolute that this particular project must be achieved in our, li in our lifetime. We are not going to equate the Biafraization education to our own children. We, this generation of Biafras have come to restore Biafra, and that's what we must do. So, uh, uh, we are encouraging our people to uh, sit at home again on the 14th. This is how you tell the government and the sub that we are the owner of the land. That IPOB, made by any demanding man, the camera, it is only agitating body that cares for you. Remember during the, 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 uh, the what do you call it, the pandemic, when people were asked to stay indoors and the government didn't provide anything for them to eat, I believe it was the one, Nam the Khan, from out of his own benevolence, provided food stuff for some of the veterans. You know, the government didn't do that. Even at that, the, 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 the food supply they received from, from the Western world, which is from the European Union and, uh, and the USA, they locked them in their warehouses, keeping them there for waiting for election time when they will come to share to the people to make them vote for them. Instead of giving that food to them when they need it most, and that food was brought for the people, not for the politicians. This is to show everyone in Biafra land, and in that construction called Nigeria, that your politicians are your problem. They don't have anything good for you in, at heart. That's why we should sit at home on the 14th of September to remember those who were killed as a result of the sabotage that our people have perpetrated against them, so as a result of uh, the attempt to kill our leader who has come to save our people. We are going to sit down on the 14th to show to the politicians, 
to show to those uh, the lecturers and the, the sabotage who are in the Afro land that the Afro land belongs to the people and we are going to determine what happened in our land and not them because they have lost control and lost the legitimacy. The people decide who will leave them and they have decided that IPOP is going to bring the Afro and the Afro is coming with freedom and liberation for them all. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you, Mazi. Um, I would like you to react on uh, this st uh, statement I want to make regarding sometimes some murmurings or uh, some certain statement from friends regarding when they were asked to sit at home officially by the DOS established by our leader, Mazin Namdikan. Some may complain, some as a result of their daily income without not going out and all those things. I want you to, I don't know how you can explain to them more and more regarding the impact of this as a sacrifice they are doing for Biafra to restore. All of them want Biafra to come, but what will give them Biafra is what they don't know or understand. It's just like in church, in religious something, everybody will say, I want to go to heaven. But when the debt that will take you to heaven comes, you start running away from that debt. So, I want you to use one or two words to explain to them that this is a sacrifice and anything to be achieved needs sacrifice. So, they, for, for them to understand what they are, are doing. I don't know whether you understand uh, what I'm trying to throw to you. The impact yes, of the ma, sacrifice are, uh, of a sitting at home yes. positively and the negative aspect of it, if they refuse, how it will affect what we are doing. Yes, ma, we, uh, we, we say in, our, in one of our adages that the honorable is Azata Allah before Azari said. You first secure the land before you look for your mat. You know, if you if you get your mat and you have, don't have a, a land or a floor to, to spread your mat, the mat is useless. So uh, it is important. Well, I have to uh, already commend most Biafra. Most Biafra have come to realize because we have engaged in education uh, of our people throughout uh, this education. Our leader has made it a priority to make sure that our, lead, our people are educated, enlightened as to what is going on and what they are expected to do. So most of them have come to understand that uh, you need to make sacrifice before you get anything. Nothing comes for nothing. And freedom is not cheap. It's called freedom, but it's priceless because you can't even buy it. Just uh, like you say, common sense. Common sense is not common and freedom is not free. So, and freedom is not given but taken. So the only way we can take this freedom is to make sacrifice. People have paid with their own life. And there is no sacrifice you can make comparing to giving your own life. That's why we say, for the sake of those who have paid the ultimate price, we are not going to stop what we are doing. So there is, if you close yourself for one or two days for sake of the Afro education, the Afro education project, that's not going to kill you. We know that some people have not enough to eat. But then, if you don't have the answer for them, your condition will get worse by the day. If you imagine that 10 years ago uh, is better than now, 20 years ago was better than 10 years ago, 30 years ago was better than 20 years ago. So uh, the, the situation and the condition of our people in that construction called Nigeria is not getting any better. So it is very, very important that we understand that for us to get our freedom, we need to make this little sacrifice. Nobody asks you to go to the war front. People are dying in the war front. Those who have decided to go and defend our land physically, they are defending our land, some are playing with their own lives. We need to respect them. We need to, we need to bear in mind that what we are asked to do to sit at home uh, you know, you know, maybe you are going to lose uh, some some money that day. It is not compared to the life that some people have given. Look at our leader Mazin Namdekan. How much has he given? Look at his parents. What was the cost of their debt? So we all, even myself, speaking here, I know how much I have sacrificed, but I cannot compare my own sacrifice with those who have given their life. This is why we call it the ultimate sacrifice. So our people will, should understand that sitting at home is the third world that we are 
it, 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 we, we are you know against the 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 problems marginalization and political disenfranchisement that our people are facing in that contraction called nigeria sitting at home tells the world that we are ready to go imagine that cnn has said carried the news as our leader has said about five to seven years ago that they are going to carry our news when the time comes the time comes we are not going to tell them to do that so we are sitting at home is even more powerful than when you when you come to fight because the, that lockdown is what prompted cnn to report it because they know that for a whole country for a whole state to lock down it is very very uh, important so that importance is why, what makes cnn to report our news and the more you continue to heed and that hate of instructions given by the directors of state the more the whole world which you call the international community we get attracted we get uh, noticed we get information and you know we be required to ask the question what is going on in this part of the world what are these people doing why are they locking down and that by so doing you will see that our freedom will be faster than when you go to your business and say i don't care because if you say i don't care the next time the following it so, so yes, will come and burn your shop and you will have even nothing to call your shop anymore so thinking about going to your shop it is just for the long uh for the short term uh period in the long term you are going to lose your life and lose that shop so it is better we all you know come together in one mind one one soul one 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 body to uh fight this uh this cost of data restoration project by doing what is necessary what is the need for and especially on the 14th of september you sit at home even uh you know that the the, the monday monday sit at home has been has been suspended but some people are still keeping it this is to tell you that they have some of them have come to understand that this is the only sacrifice i can i can i can give to to, to my to my nation to ensure that our leader is, 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 is released and therefore is restored. So uh, I believe they are, they are coming gradually to terms uh, which, as to why we are asking them to be at home and uh, this is for their own good and nothing else uh, is to, to be said about that. So Marge, that's all I want to say about this and I believe our people, uh, they are going to adhere to this instruction again because we are making progress towards the other situation and the release of our leader, which is our ultimate uh, uh, priority at the moment. Thank you. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you, Mazi. Um, just for a few minutes we still have, um, I want to come to the extraordinary rendition of our leader to Kenya and the people who were involved in this. Many Biafrans have been asking to know and the action to take against them because indeed it's quite obvious that it was our people, Igbo people, who work hard uh, to do this. Why is it that um, uh, we have not really gathered the names and the people that we are involved? Does it mean that uh, uh, um, DOS Intel is not feeding up or what? Can you clarify something on that? Why is it that the names will to publish the name because this uh, in Igbo lang language Agassin Kabaro is an abomination and we cannot take it even just as some people has decided on their own so even if Onyendu comes out and forgive them that they themselves cannot forgive those people so but apart from that why is it that the names and the people have not been tell the and say this is the people who put you some of us died and resurrected back the day we had that news because uh, we don't have any other hope if not on Onyendu. So, to let their fans know this is the people who put you into that condition. What is delaying in giving us the full details and how the thing happened? Is it possible to say now or maybe still something that is, uh, that is waiting for a time to be given? Maz, are you with me? Hello? 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 Hello, Mazi. Mazi, 
Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you again. Oh, but you didn't hear the question I asked you before. Yes, that was the question I was responding to that I saw that the, the, um, the, the, the call was lifted. I don't know if the, the connection went, went back. Maybe. Okay, let me ask you, let me repeat the question a bit, just briefly, regarding the extraordinary rendition of our leader, Mazin Namdikano, uh, since June, uh, up till now, uh, their friends have not really gathered the information, how the something happened, and the, the people that we are fully involved in that uh, a, a crime, that atrocity, I won't use the word crime, that atrocity, their friends would have liked to know who and who because a lot of us died and wake up the day we confirmed that this thing is real their friends would like to know those who were involved on that matter what is delaying or is there any reason why it have not been yet given uh, uh, out the names and how the matter took place uh, yes Mars. what i can tell you from the position of the director of state is that uh, our leader is still in charge of our agitation, instead uh, giving directives as to what to do. Even if we have ideas, we are always going to ask him to uh, approve it before we go on. So our leader is alive, um, and he is the one who knows exactly what happened. Those who uh, were behind the trip he went, and those who were also involved uh, in betraying him, he knew that himself, and he has decided not to tell us until a, until a certain time. You know how he, uh, maybe he would like to say it to be happen by himself, but as we speak, he has not given us the names. Uh, we have uh, we have this information from Nelly, Dr. Nelly of from the USA, uh, who is our uh, our officer there. Uh, you know, is telling us uh, about the evidence she had concerning those who were involved. Uh, we have we have taken note of that. But our leader will be the one to tell us exactly what happened, how where to uh, what to do. He is, he is informed about what happened. He's informed about the expose that uh, Dr. Nelly of Facebook has been uh, you know doing and we are waiting for the directives as to what next to do. Uh, concerning those who were, uh, you know, identified as being involved uh, in the in the in the that act of atrocity, as you put it, uh, we are not the ones to make that decision. As long as our leader is still in charge, uh, we are expecting him to give out the directives as to what to do and who to uh, suspend or who to expel from the struggle. We are waiting, man. That's all I can tell you. Thank you very much. So you are making it very clear. Uh, to the whole world, to be a friends, that um, our leader is still in charge of IPOB and nobody should bring uh, anything outside uh, the order our leader has given. That is what you are making it clear right now with this. Yes, that's that's still so clear that he's still in charge and he still gives directives as what we are doing and what we are not going to do. That's why sometimes it's thinking that the US is not working, but if our leader didn't approve something, we are not going to carry it out. And that's how, that's how it has been from beginning. We are not going to start disobeying him now that he's incarcerated. As long as he's still alive, as long as, long as he's still reachable, we are going to be taking instructions from him. He said, whenever you don't hear from me or don't uh, see me, do this, do that, do that. We know that. We wanted to do that, but he resurfaced and gave us instructions to stop and suspend the seat at home. We wanted to start with sit at home and other things we call it according to the instruction we laid down for us. But as long as he's in charge, he's alive and he's in charge, we are going to take instruction from him and not to take the law into our hands. That's how we are doing it, Mazi. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mazi. But uh, this is uh, last week, um, the international lawyer, Bruce Fain, and, uh, came to the zoo, uh, tried to meet him on Thursday which is uh, the days the court have been approved for our leader to be visited. And uh, they gave an uh, excuse on that day that the officer that should assign or assign to take them there is not around. Then they should come back on Monday, which he waited till Monday, and they went and they still give another excuse. 
and uh, based on the interview of the man that I watched, he said he's going back the following day, which is uh, which would be Tuesday uh, this week if things work in that way. I believe he might have uh, uh, went back to his base. Um, based on this thing now, um, I don't know if you have anything to elaborate regarding the international uh, community and everything apart from the our own. Uh, local lawyer, our own HO4 and his legal team, the good work they're doing regarding this man and for not allowing him to see our leader. What do you have to tell dear friends on this before we round uh, this program up? Yes, man. I think this is a random thing that I am really very pleased because I knew that uh, this man uh, really has been because of the importance of the matters at hand. Um, yes, the, the, the Nigerian government, uh, we all know that it's a third state already. Uh, the, 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 the visit of uh, our, our action in the U.S. group uh, uh, was a very, very shock to them. It was a very big shock. When they saw him, they didn't expect him to come to Nigeria to see our leader. So for them to compare him from seeing our leader, uh, also, an that uh, Nigeria uh, being autocratic, uh, it is a despotic uh, government. Uh, that man has seen it uh, live. We have seen it uh, one on one. Nobody will come again to send a letter or tweet uh, that this is what is happening in Nigeria. He came to see for himself what we have been telling him. And now he's convinced that everything we have said in the past is the truth uh, because he has seen it himself, he has confirmed it himself. So Nigeria is not a state where you can uh, claim to be democratic. In a democratic setting, they don't have any right to keep our leader in detention in the first place. Our leader must have been, you know, uh, arranged in court in Kenya than he was in the past. He has to be tried again. If they found him one, that is when they will be deciding on um, what do you call extradition. But this was not done. Everything that is done in this corrupt and disrupt but with the public government of, of in Africa is all corrupt. Human rights are being trapped upon. No rule of noise. No due process for but there is only followed in the papers and on television. But in the real time, it is not followed. So Brisbane has come to see it live by himself, and Nigeria is going to even face more severe consequences for refusing him to see his client. That's all I can tell you, man. The international community has taken notes, and Nigeria and Kenya are going to get it, get it hot because we are not relenting. This battle is being fought in many fronts, and the legal is one of them, which is uh, getting very, very heated at the moment. Uh, with, with the result of you know, defending our leader without trial and by kidnapping him against all international laws and, and treaties, uh, it is it is a double jeopardy, I will call it. They are going to receive it more because this matter is no more uh, about Biafra and Nigeria. It's now it's an international uh, matter which has been uh, taken to every part of the world and very soon you will be hearing uh, about the, the consequences uh, that, that Nigeria is going to face, including Kenya and all those who are involved in this uh, uh, in this art of uh, criminal uh, abduction and uh, kidnapping of our leader, and extraordinarily visioning him to a country that he, he had denounced the, the, the citizenship. They took him to a country where he does not belong, instead of taking him back to Britain, where uh, when he has his uh, citizenship registered. So, man, thank you. I, I don't have much thing to tell about that. I just want to round off by saying that Biafrans uh, should remain resolute and uh, focused, uh, vigilant as the enemies are coming, bringing arms in our land. We need to, uh, you know, wake up and every young man in Biafra land should not sleep with their two eyes open, uh, uh, closed, but to be always be ready. Uh, whenever the duty calls, everyone should come and defend our land because the enemies are the gates, and we need to really um, uh, take, take a, a very, very care about what we do, where we go, and what we say. 
uh, because uh, as we said in, in, in our uh, during the, the former we have found Nigerian war that OMD no bala to go to Nigerian behind so we will be able to own our own own nobody should sleep nobody should uh, you know go to the fact that everything is all right nothing is all right the aim of the Janja with uh, marauding to terrorists and uh, the government of Nigeria is to take over the land kill the people and the Islamites will uh, become subservient to them and we have reason to say no Biafra must be restored or we all die restoring Biafra so thank you so much and uh, thank you all Biafra for listening Mazi, Mazi, uh, Mazi Mazi Abani, sorry, sorry, I just need uh, one or two minutes of yours, please. I know how difficult it is to bring you to this, and this is about uh, 47 minutes now uh, we have been doing this. Uh, before you go, just wrap it up with what you're about to say. Um, first of all, kudos to the DOS for the good work they're doing, despite how things are, they were able to still be, um, be together and be doing things. Uh, I want you to give um, Biafrans and the friends of Biafrans all over the world assurance uh, of the DOS, which you belong, the good things that is about to come, and the confidence they must have in a DOS. I just want you to use it to wrap up, uh, because it's not everything that's supposed to say on air, but to give them confidence that indeed uh, you people really love them and uh, everything you are doing is for them, and uh, there are greater things that are on uh, on board that will come out from you guys. Just uh, one or two minutes as you're about to as we're about to round up the program. Okay, Manzi, thank you so much. Uh, all I need to say is that uh, DOS has been faithful to the others. DOS has been the engine that prepared this struggle even when our leader was free. Our leader gives the DOS instruction to carry out and we have been carrying out to the left um, we have every, um, you have every reason to, to trust the, the director of state. Uh, our antecedent says it all. There is never a time in the struggle that the U.S. failed, the friends or failed our leader. And we have so much things at hand we want to do. But people are expecting us to come on air and tell them they want to do this, they want to do that. If you say that your enemies are also listening, why do you want to reveal your plans to the enemies? They are not going to do that. But all, all they need to do is to have faith and trust in the leadership of the director of faith, knowing fully well that our leader is still in charge. So there, there is nothing like leadership vacuum. The, the only difference here is that our leader's voice is not being heard as usual. But the idea that thing is going normal. The idea that thing is going as planned. So there is a lot of plans on how the other should be restored, how our leader will be released. We are fighting on many fronts to make this happen, and we are not going to reveal it to anybody. All we want you to do is to look, look uh, back, back in the, in the history of this struggle and see how the U.S. has led you, and if there's any reason to doubt them, or if you have reason to believe them, then make your decision. But all I, all, all I want to tell them is that directly for state is doing everything humanly possible to ensure that our leader will live and the other is restored. And we are not going back on that. Mazi, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mazi Austin Abanye, the European uh, rep of uh, IPOB, Indigenous People of Biafra. Thank you very much for this wonderful 50 Thank minutes you. you have spent with us. Thank you. And God, I believe God, you have done justice to some certain Christians to be your friends. And I believe that from time to time, when we call you, you will humbly, just as you have done today, to come and clarify some certain things uh, from Beer Friends. Uh, but for today, we won't be able to take questions from Beer Friends that have been calling. Uh, but I believe next time, maybe we'll have a chance for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And God bless you, Mas. And keep on doing the good work. And keep up there, will bless you. And continue to strengthen you. Dear friends, have patience. Next time, when I have enough time, I'm going to take your calls and your questions. But for now, I need to go back to work. Thank you so much. And I remember the Austin Abai, the member of the Directorate of State and the European Rep. All near Biafra. And may God bless the people of Biafra. Thank you, Mas. Thank you, thank you, thank you.